today I'll be showing you guys how to replace a Samsung Gear Fit 2 motherboard. So here's our replacement part. Um, all replacement parts can be found in the description below. And we also are going to need the flathead and a cross. Uh, the flathead here is a 1.2 millimeter, or cross, sorry, and the flathead is at a 1.5. So we want some smaller sizes there as we're working with smaller things. All right, so to get started, we will want to re remove the bands. To remove the bands, we'll go between the housing and the band itself. And you will just kind of push it in a little bit, maybe a little bit up, and it should click into place so like disengage and then you can just go and pop it right out. We'll do the same exact thing here on the other side. Alrighty. So now that we got that out of the way, we got four screws and four screw covers. So we're gonna remove the covers here. The covers are held on to the screws by a double sided adhesive. So after we got the screws, our next step would be to remove the back housing and the back cover from the screen itself. So we would want to start on the opposite side of the buttons. And the way we do this is take your flathead and as you travel, travel between the housing and the screen, you'll feel where those two meet. What you want to do is kind of pry there a little bit. All right, and as well at the other side. All right, you don't wanna push your flathead too far in or you could damage the board on the inside. And you don't wanna to put too much pressure onto the screen or the plastics. Oh, there we go. To, so we don't damage any of the plastics here where the band sits. All right, and we pry it back like so. There you go. So we got the back cover. Let's set that aside. And we've got the motherboard sitting there. And to get the motherboard out, there are two connections right there. So we want to move this one here, which is the battery. So get that one up. And we got the screen. All right, pull out the board. Want to be careful. We start from one of the sides here, lift it up like so, and pulling it out maybe a little bit of an angle, slowly working your way back. So this is the defective board. Set this side, get our new board. Our replacement. And start with the vibrator going into its slot here. Next, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that the board is sitting down properly. To do this, you don't wanna to put too much pressure onto the board, but actually right here onto these sides, kinda of like push it a little bit out and the board should slide right in. You can do this all around. Make sure everything's sitting in. There we go. All right, so now we gotta connect the battery. All right, and at this step, um, I would clean anything if it needs to be cleaned. Let's say if you got residue from sweat or something up like in the housing areas here, you can clean that up. It'll make it a lot easier than doing it afterwards. And we can just clip the back housing right in. So all you gotta do is put the screws back in, put the screw covers back on, and then put the bands back on. So start with the screws here. Also to mention that the board that we replaced is for the Samsung Gear Fit 2. It will not work for the Samsung Gear Fit 2 Pro. They are physically different. The connections for the battery is different. Um, the Gear Fit 2 Pro has a more rectangular connection while the GearFit 2 
motherboard and battery have more of a square connection, so you cannot use them interchangeably between the two models. So keep that in mind when looking for parts. And the same would apply for the back cover and the screen as well. So they designed it a little bit differently and the parts just do not interchange. All right, let's put on the covers here. All right, what we've got left is to put on the bands. So take the smaller side, that'll go onto the side with the larger button. So that'll be our top here. And we'll take the other part and stick it here. All right, and that is how you replace a motherboard on a Samsung Gear Fit 2. Thank you for watching.